Hello, uh, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session we have is the 19th of April 2018. Please be sure to view uh, trade signals, signals, and market updates from leading providers. Don't you download the app by the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so Asian markets, first of all, we have the uh, Asian markets certainly moving higher uh, on the back of US markets yesterday moving higher as well. So, certainly a risk on session overall. Okay, so bear that in mind. Asian markets, you have the near Shanghai up 0.8%, Hang Seng up as well, and the Nikkei up as well. US markets certainly were higher more or less overnight. The S&P did actually close positive, NASDAQ positive as well, especially with Amazon earnings after the close, certainly helping as well from that perspective. And you had Dow Jones finishing towards a negative, so bear that in mind. Now, the, um, the futures are actually trading negative. US futures certainly are trading negative at the moment, so let's see how... Uh, European markets react. European markets certainly have been quite strong compared to its Euro US peers, so just bear that in mind as well. Uh, given the uh, the actual thrust higher reset as of late, uh, and again that's something certainly to take into consideration as well. Okay, so let's see if the uh, the, the rally can sustain itself, especially on the FTSE 100 at present. Okay, in terms of fundamentals, let's just quickly give you a rundown there. Uh, in terms of fundamentals, we have retail sales this morning. Uh, certainly, uh, retail sales this morning coming in. Uh, slightly um, okay retail retail sales coming in okay so so better it's weaker than expected uh, Australian data overnight uh, employment numbers coming in weaker as well so re UK retail sales really is a main uh, fundamental news flow this morning out the uh, Europe although you did have European current account surplus stronger than expected so uh, so from that perspective Okay, so European current account surplus stronger than expected. Now we have FOMC Brainard uh, speech later on. US uh, jobs data certainly coming into play as well. Uh, and also you've got Mr. Fed Qual speaking. Uh, BMPC, a BOE member, Mr. Conliffe. Watch out for that. Especially given the recent rally in, in sterling as well. Certain recent rally in the FTSE and a sell-off in sterling. Okay, so in terms of uh, the technical picture, let's see exactly what's going on here. Again, the German DAX certainly has been very strong, even though we've had weaker ZD W data as well as of late. Okay, the German DAX certainly testing that. So 200 MA now, 12,650. You've got gap fill at 12,688. So watch out there. You've got horizontal resistance still being held. Let's see how the market reacts there. 60 minute chart. You put a topping tail on the German DAX at 12,640. Certainly looking for that to top out here. You've got a bearish continuation pattern here. So again, looking for a potential thrust lower now on the German DAX. So watch out below on the German DAX from my perspective, looking for that gap fill to close below, especially that topping tail to hold. 10 minute chart, we've obviously put in lower highs so far. Okay, so it's a lower high as of yet. So taking the pivot high to pivot low, you're holding 50% so far. So again, looking for this lower high to consolidate and then obviously put in a lower low, potentially pivot back down to that uh, gap fill at 12,400. In terms of the French CAC, let's have a look here. So let's start off with the daily chart. Okay, you've got your into no man's land now, more or less. Okay, I was expecting gap fill certainly to hold. It has been quite impressive. The French CAC certainly has been helped by a rise in oil. Oil prices certainly helping. If you look at the price of oil, certainly has uh, caused uh, commodities to resurge. As you can see here, I mean, you've had a pivot from 50, 65 to almost 69. I mean, it's been an imme immense uh, rally on the uh, price of oil. And you can see here we're breaking out on the daily chart as well. So pretty impressive. Again, geopolitics, certainly you're weighing on the uh, the actual markets as well okay so you, as you can see here oil price is certainly breaking up we are now testing this key resistance here around the uh, 768 level 68 zone okay so again situation in syria is certainly escalating as well uh, obviously with the u.s strikes situation with iran as well obviously the israelis hitting the um, the situation or potential targets there so again geopolitics certainly escalating from that perspective and certainly sending oil so that base and oil around the 45 has been very very impressive that certainly was the pivot low there for oil prices certainly to start to push higher based on geopolitics so that's basically where we stand at the moment okay this level here is a key inflection point so let's see if this holds and actually causes the market to move south okay again trade wars certainly remain in the background so one would have expected oil prices certainly to come under pressure but that hasn't been the case thus far Certainly has been very impressive. Certainly has defied a lot of individuals' uh, analysis uh, in terms of the short bias and certainly has pushed higher. So that, well, that's the market for you folks, okay? Uh, whatever the consensus is, the market generally does the opposite. That's generally just a general rule. Okay, so oil prices certainly helping uh, the French CAC there. So going back to the French CAC, 
CAC is very uh, heavily reliant on commodities. It's just like the FTSE 100 index. Okay, so again, certainly enjoying that run. If we do continue to flush or push higher, sorry, we, we are going into gap fill at 5450 zone, so watch out for that gap above. Okay, 60 minute chart on the uh, French CAC at the moment, certainly thrusting higher. The next key resistance is seen around the 5406 level. We're very close to that as well, so watch out there. We did have gap fill uh, around the 5366, we've closed that. 60 minute chart certainly continues to push higher, so it's been very impressive on the European indices overall. So, 10 minute chart again. Especially with Mr. Macron's uh, situation, it certainly seems like uh, the uh, the market certainly is buying it. Certainly wants to continue to run with it. So again, we have to respect that. Having said that, you've got gap fill at five three fifty below. Okay, so watch out for that gap fill, and also you've got gap fill at five three eighty as well. So again, watch out below there from that perspective. Okay, now moving on uh, in terms of the German DAX. Now let's go to the German DAX here. So you know the FTSE one hundred now. Sorry, sixty minute chart the FTSE. We did have resistance historically, as you can see here around the 7326 we certainly was expecting that to hold in the market to reverse daily chart as well you've got resistance here around the 7328 uh, previous support equals resistance as well in that zone so you're looking for that to hold if the market fails to hold that then you are looking at testing the 200 ma at 7394 which will be very very impressive okay so moving on to the 10 minute chart now again i was expecting the upper channel to hold and certainly markets to reverse rsi stochastic certainly over in, into overbought territory and therefore looking for a reversal, looking to retest the breakout, which is at 7310, and then obviously you got a retest at 7290, and then obviously support at 7275. So watch out there. Okay, so again, looking for FTSE weakness there on the uh, the market itself. Again, looking to retest that 7270 zone on the downside if we do start to reverse. Uh, at the moment, market certainly is displaying bullish characteristics. Okay. So again, Chinese trade war concerns, geopolitics via Syria, Iran, Israel, Russia, okay, all those are in the background and therefore looking for a risk aversion. On that note, please be sure to visit CFDs.com, certainly take advantage of the bonus there and be sure to visit TradeSignal and download the latest app there. Goodbye now.